ladies and gentlemen, this is uh, Alex Ray reporting once again for Mad Cats, and, and you join me once more from our SciTech development facility over here in Bristol, in merry old England, and uh, I'm back here with our favourite friend Rich Neville. You, you featured in a few of these videos now, Rich. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> so uh, we're not really we're not concentrating on the pro flight stuff today. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about this beast, which is the brand new Cyborg X flight stick, right? Yep, absolutely. Okay, talk us through the Cyborg. That, it really does look like a, an alien contraption. And well, at the moment, it is looks it broken? Why is it? Why is it? At the moment, it looks like it's broken, doesn't it? Hey? Yeah. It's, uh, hang on, that doesn't work. Yeah, so uh, what, what we wanted to do was ship something that was a little bit unusual. I mean, the Cyborg line's always been a bit unusual. There's always been something about it which just looks cool, quite techy, little bits skeletal ske ske almost. I mean, especially when you, when you look at this in a minute, I'll sh show you even more of that. Well, it's, it's, it's a fusion of man and machine, Cyborg, it's, it's and, it, and it's always something for the, for the true gamer, right? It's, it's, it's the ultimate man-machine interface. <laughs> yes, indeed it is. <laughs> So when we ship the product, <laughs> it comes in the box like that. It just ships, so you can see the handle of the stick, which is it's just, just such a cool money shot that okay. looks cool what, 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 like that. So when you get out of the box... So it's not just for do, shipping, though. I mean, I, just, I don't know. I want to I pull you up on that. I mean, it's, it's great that it does detach because it means that if you're using this in, in an office environment, if there's other people using your PC as well... And you're low on storage. It doesn't mean you've you've got to have this 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 big old joystick. You can, you can stick it in a drawer. In a drawer. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, I mean, so it, ma it makes the storage really, really, really fantastic storage. It, really it does, does take. On. It takes a couple of seconds to attach because all you do is stick it on there, dial up that till it's tight, and now that stick is working. You can see it's working because it's lit up as well. Okay, can you just show the the camera that as well because that's really cool. There we go. Yeah, hold it there. Wow, look at that. So, so that did take you about four seconds just to uh, to build the joystick, and uh, and away you go. And and wow, that's so it's lit up, lit up, ready to go. Oh, except it looks a bit bit unusual. We don't, don't have many sticks with a throttle that goes from side to side. So all you do is slide the legs out. Ah, oh, look at that, ladies and gentlemen. It okay. is the transformer of joysticks. More than meets the eye. Indeed. I hope you don't get sued for that. <laughs> so. <laughs> So that's pretty cool. So, uh, so, so take me through all the different buttons and, and all the different movements we have on the Cyborg X. Well, I mean, it's got all the usual features you expect from any of our sticks. You've, of course, got your main stick control, so you can control your, uh, your banking, your pitching, and your flight sims, or whatever it is that you're using. Could be maybe some old space sims. You've got a throttle lever here as well, which is a little bit different because you little pop the switch there, and it now splits. So if I'm controlling a twin-engine aircraft, and I can actually control each end of individual engine. As I well, my camera missed that. Can you just show me how? So you can connect it as one piece. So if I put, pop that in, both those levers move as one piece. Okay. If I pop the switch, the levers separate. Oh, fantastic! So that that, that gives you use with 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 a maximum amount of pro flight sim games or uh, or arcade shooters, whatever you want to use it with, right? Absolutely. That's that that's pretty crazy. So we've also got the twist twist control on the handle. As for your rudder controlling your games, that's your main basic feature. Can you show us that going on screen as well? Does that does so that affect me anything? You there? can see it a little bit. Oh yeah, you can. Yeah, you can see little, your, your banking little, there, right? Bit, yeah, absolutely. Um, the other features, of course, we've got a number of buttons here. Uh, there's the trigger here. There's four buttons on 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 the head, which of course, as you can see, they're. Oh, hang on, now I missed that. Can you just do that again? Wow. Okay. Can you configure those buttons to do whatever it is Absolutely. you want to do? You can use either the games interface or we've got our own programming software, so you can you can do whatever you want. If you just want to single program a single button to control your landing gear, that's possible. If you want to program a single button to, I don't know, launch a missile, switch to the view of the missile cam, then switch to the view of the enemy as he blows up, and then switch back to your cockpit, that's possible as well. So when you buy the stick, when you buy the Cyborg X, do you do you get the the programming software? Absolutely, stuff? on the disc. Wow, so it comes with the disc, yep. which allows you to assign any keyboard button to, to the buttons correct. on the stick, is that correct? Keyboard button or combination of buttons or sequence of buttons. Whatever. So you can do like a macro on I'm there as well. Full on macro, yeah. That's fantastic. And what about the what, what about the uh, the buttons on the base? Can you talk to me about those? Well, there's just one more function on the head, actually. This okay. little disc here. Hang on, I'm, I'm zooming in on the disc. I don't want to make viewers dizzy. This is the problem, <laughs> so... Okay, so... We're looking at the head now, and so oh, I can see there's a little sort of scroll wheel. It's on a little there. scroll wheel, which is effectively two more buttons. You just scroll them up and down to select the different fun for different fun for different function. That's absolutely fantastic. And oh. I, I got to tell you, al although it may just be an aesthetic appeal, the, the blue light is really cool. 
it just does help. Them. <laughs> it's it's really cool, especially so, especially if you're playing in the dark. So what about these? Uh, so what about the buttons on the base? It's just another four buttons on the base here, which again you can have different controls assigned to. There's also a button here, which if you want to assign to a control, you can. But also with the programming software, you can assign that as what we call a shift button, so that when it's held down or even toggled again, you can change that. That then enables you to program a second set of commands to every other button on the stick. Oh, that's n that's nuts. There's a couple more as well because around here on the back, there's two buttons hidden on the throttle. So when you're gripping the throttle, you can press those buttons as well. All right. Well, listen. You're, you're supposed to be the, the inventor of this product, or, or you know, you you're the man that knows about the Cyborg X. So how many how many keystrokes would be possible on these buttons? If if you if you can use these buttons for for a dual action, is that what you're saying? Yeah. You can, okay. So that gives you access to how many on on stick buttons? Uh, if you're doubling up, twenty-two. Twenty-two buttons, ladies and gentlemen, all on the Cyborg X. That's it's got to be some kind of record. That's fantastic. All right, I'm gonna have fun now. I'm just gonna be completely dumb. Show me how quickly you can detach that and and fold it up. Go. And uh, so it just unscrews there. Well, you gotta fold it up. You gotta fold it up. There you go. And <laughs> all right, what's in time? And, okay, let's see how quickly you can put it together. Go. Okay. That's one. That's two seconds. Look at that. So uh, in under five seconds. Now, we haven't finished on adjustment, though, because the, that's that, that adjustment nature of putting it together. That's all cool and makes it all compact when you put it away. But there's more adjustment features on this. You can adjust the height of the handle for different size hands. So you just press this button here, pop the handle up, and that increases it. For oh, that's amazing. Show me how high it will go. All the way up there. That's, it. So so that's, that's, that's a, quite an impressive. You've got to have a pretty big hand for yeah. that, to that to be, uh, you know. But obviously, if you've got really tiny hands, just flick it down, and it becomes a really, really small stick as well. That's just so cool. Also, in the base here, you can literally mold it to your individual games like that. So, so it, it's like it's made for you. In the base here, we've got this little tool. Right, I can just see your hand at the moment. Sorry, I can't see there's the tool. The tool. Hang on, right. So, so that tool got, that that actually fits in the base. That comes, comes that comes the with the stick, right? With the stick, you get that when you buy the stick. Fits in the base then. What what does it do? Well, this is holy moly. This is like an features. alien. So we can adjust this so that if we loosen off this ball here, we can then tilt the head of the stick. So if the if the buttons aren't exactly where you want them, oh, that's nice. Up, you can tilt the head back. And you can tighten that up into, into place. And, and then, then that remains in that, that position, remains yeah. In that, in that position, absolutely. That's so cool. Equally, there's a there's a there's an adjustment here, which is, as you dial it in and out, it actually changes the height of what the the, the, the the distance the buttons are from from your thumb as well. So they'll actually come out. Quite a lot of adjustment involved in that, but it's, and it's difficult to see on camera. But it does just adjust the the, the, the spacing of the buttons out from the head of the head of the stick. So I don't know. Can you can you can you turn it towards the camera? Okay, and can you do that again for me, just so I can see? So by using the second adjustment, we can actually move the buttons in and out. That's correct. Yeah, indeed. Yeah. We can actually see. You can see it moving. That's incredible. It's like a, a flower coming into bloom. So the whole <laughs> head of the buttons comes in and out through, through from, the, from the back back of the head head there as well. And then finally, it wouldn't be enough if we just adjust the, the tilt of the head. You could about also this, adjust the tilt of the handle as well. Wow. That's unbelievable. So, by using the one multi-tool that you get in inside every pack, you Indeed. can adjust the height of the stick, you can adjust the actual pitch of the head, the spacing of the buttons. Yep. That's amazing. And then you get the programmable um, C uh, DVD inside the pack that allows you to assign up to 22 keyboard strokes or macros to all of those buttons, yeah? Indeed. That's absolutely fantastic. It's a fully programmable slice of the future. So obviously it's compatible with any of the pro flight uh, flight sim games that are out there at the moment, but it's also compatible with absolutely any and every PC joystick game, I guess. Any game that supports a game, game control you can use it in. And to be honest with you, even games that don't, because with the programming software, you can program it with keyboard and mouse commands to make it work in those as well. That's fantastic. Now, I would expect to pay upwards of... Three hundred dollars for a stick like that. I mean, it, it's that cool. How much? How much is this retailing for at the moment? It's retailing for fifty bucks. Yes, fifty bucks. Fifty bucks. Yes. Say it again. Fifty bucks. Fifty bucks. Fifty bucks. 
my my ladies and gentlemen, that is a steal. Fifty bucks. I apologize for the shoddy camera work there. I kind of lost my composure. Fifty dollars, ladies and gentlemen. The Cyborg X. Um, it's possibly the best joystick you'll ever use, and it's uh, it, it's only from our friends at Mad Cat SciTech. Thank you very much, Richard. Thank you.